So my question is, at what point are we totally honest with ourselves and admit that we totally failed a section of our garden? <laughs> okay, and this is Chandler. She is my helper today. Hi, I got this in salvia. You did get some salvia. It's very pretty. Yeah. So if you move on. I like your costume. Thanks. I just need to keep it on because I don't really like it. Okay. So I kind of lost the battle with the squash vine borers. And now I kind of gave up fighting them and just started pulling the zucchini and squash. And I'm going to plant a second Can round of them. Yeah. Hey. Um, so I've been to the dentist and there's this breathing sink. It smelled so good. She had to have a little nitrous today for a dental procedure. Anyway, um, I gave up. I've pulled almost all of the zucchini. I have two zucchini plants left. I've pulled up four of the squash. And I'm a little frustrated. I literally got one zucchini out of 12 plants. It, it just didn't go well. And I fought really hard with the bugs and I just gave up. So anyway, I just couldn't keep up with it. I couldn't keep up with the pest pressure. And now I've got army worms and they are threatening pretty much every plant in the garden. So for me, it made more sense to just go ahead and sacrifice the squash and zucchini, replant because I still have about 95 days, which is more than enough time for them to get started. And um, instead focus on getting the army worms off of every other plant in the garden. You found a bug? This is my bug hunter. She's doing a very good job helping me find all the army worms. And she actually found, I found one right there. a, um, it's right there. what is it? I found two right over oh, there. Oh, you sure did. Let's look. Yeah. Look, we sure, you sure did find one. And I found one right there. Oh, there's a whole bunch on the zinnia. Yeah. Well, the chickens are going to be happy. What chickens? Miss Sierra's chickens is who we give all of our little caterpillars to. And then she gives us yummy, yummy duck and chicken eggs. I think I got them all. Oh, there's another one. So, as you can see, I found a lot. we are having a ton of a ton a ton a ton of Can pest pressure in just a minute please just a minute so a lot of pest pressure i kind of cannot get over how much and i think i may just have to pull that zinnia but that's a lot that's a whole lot of bugs so i am going to actually put the camera down and Try and get the bugs Can under control. This? Beautiful. I've lost count. Um, there are so many army worms in the zinnia. I don't know what to do. Like I kind of, I treated with BT. I'm about to treat again. We've had a lot of rain. So I'm sure every time I've treated, it's just, um, it's just washed it away, but it's kind of insane how much uh, army worms we have. I'll show you the bucket in a second. Like, I think of at least 30, at least 30, maybe more. I can't seem to keep up. So there's another one. See, they hide under the underside of leaves. And then they are just everywhere absolutely everywhere and i don't want to have to pull my beautiful gorgeous and amazing zinnia because it has done so well and but i mean look at this look at this one this one's doing okay but look at this plant it's just decimated <sighs> there's another one Another one. So 
so the BT should help. Wesley is spraying that now. But if you look, this is the bucket that I've collected so far. Get back in the bucket. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Y'all are all chicken snacks. But they're all over. I mean, just everywhere. So many. Absolutely so many. And there's a hornworm. This hornworm actually is like totally deflated, which tells me that it um, was probably parasitized by the wasp where they lay their eggs on them and then when they hatch, they eat the inside of the hornworm, but it's dead. So at least it's not in my garden anymore. Where's the baby one you found? Some more giant worms, another hornworm and army worm and caterpillars. We've just had a lot of pest pressure. So now we're just going in strong with the BT. The pumpkins have gone nuts. They are trying to take over everything. These are gonna be my mammoth sunflowers. I planted them late, specifically so that they would be a pollinator draw a little bit later in the season. These are North Georgia candy roaster pumpkins. You can see they're trying to come in. But what I love is this one went rogue and is literally trying to climb these sunflowers. You see, it just bypassed the salvia and started climbing uh, the sunflowers. So I'm having to kind of go in and break some of its tendrils so I can get it down. Otherwise, it's going to end up pulling down the sunflowers. And I don't want that. We've got some baby pumpkins finally starting. We've got one right here. They are not your traditional pumpkin. They're an elongated pumpkin and they do really, really well uh, for baking. So I grow pumpkin for a few different reasons. One, I love pumpkin. And two, um, we have dogs and pumpkin is actually really, really good for dogs. Like organic pumpkin is really good for dogs. So. Like if they have an upset tummy, pumpkin is something great to give them. So I like to grow a bunch of pumpkins and freeze some for the dogs. Um, but I kind of overplanted. I didn't know if they would take. They kind of look puny. They were transplants. They have not disappointed at all. Um, but they're a North Georgia variety, which means they were developed to grow in my region specifically. I don't live in North Georgia. I live about an hour and a half south. So, close enough. This is a happy little accident. This plant right here, next to my cucumbers, which are still doing great. <laughs> That's not supposed to be a cantaloupe, but it is. It is supposed to be, um, cucumber. I planted some cucumber first and then was planting a second round of cucumbers for fall and somehow I mislabeled my seeds and I planted cu uh, cantaloupe. I have no idea if they will do anything but I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them go. I'm not really worried about that. The purple potted beans are not quite coming in yet, but look at those flowers. Look at how beautiful those flowers are. I really love them. I love all of the purple flowers and the color it brings, and I love how dark and rich their leaves are. And like their vines are purple, so like where they peek through is just really beautiful. Look at that. You can see, there you go. It's just beautiful. I have two TPs of those and they're doing really, really well. My salvia was doing better until my daughter, who you just saw picking them, got a hold of them. Now they're looking a little bit more puny um, because she started picking them, but 
they're honestly getting overcrowded by the pumpkins and the sunflowers. Um, they were planted there early for spring pollinators. This was all stuff that came in later, but they've just kept producing. Like they haven't stopped growing. So I'm not gonna pull them because they're beautiful and um, the carpenter bees really, really like them. Um, the butterflies have really been drawn to the sunflowers. Let me see if I can get you a picture of this one real quick. That butterfly. Oh, that's the guy I actually saved a little while ago. <laughs> hey guy. You coming to show off for a minute? So you see how one of his tails is a little messed up? He, um, he was sitting in our driveway when we tried to pull in today. And I knew we would hit him, so I made Wesley stop the car and I hopped out and I shooed him along so that he wouldn't be hurt. And here he is paying a visit in the garden. He flew off. Check out this. Happy little bee. And see guys, see how close he is to me? I'm not afraid of him. They're fuzzy little crazy butts, but they don't really cause harm. He's just happily eating and pollinating my plants for me. So I just try to let them be, no pun intended. The sunflowers have been beautiful. They add so much color and happiness to the garden. I have just loved them. And look at that sunflower back there. <laughs> Wes is gonna love that. The limas are doing good. The bush beans are finally coming around. Oh, look at the dragonfly. We live near a lake or on the pond, I should say. And so we get all kinds of creatures. All kinds. Oh, Mr. Butterfly's back. So this is um, bush beans. And they're finally getting off the ground. Like they have just been so lazy. I don't know what happened. Well, I'm gonna wrap it up. Sorry about that. My battery died. And then when I opened back up, I realized my storage was full. So we've treated everything with BT. We have green beans finally coming in. And we have a bunch of tomatoes that are about to start blushing and I'm pretty excited about that. Looks like I'm about to be covered up with tomatoes, which is my favorite time of year. So I hope you all um, enjoyed this little garden tour impromptu as it was. And I appreciate y'all watching and I hope you have a great night. Bye guys.